the electric field of the heart is about 60 to 100 times much more powerful than the electric field of the mind it's a power center another thing they then also measured the magnetic component of it you know we are also magnetic beings they measured the magnetic field of the mind versus magnetic field of the heart and the results were amazing unbelievable But Makarji said a very beautiful thing about mind and heart. Friends, these are the two layers of human existence largely, although there are more layers, but just to simplify it. We operate our life from these two spheres, the sphere of head, the sphere of heart, largely I am saying. If I ask a question, when do most of us feel most energized, most resilient, most stronger, most rooted? When do we feel that? The answer is, because I've posed this question to a lot of friends already. <laughs> the answer is whenever I'm surrounded by my loved ones, whenever I know there are people who are taking care of me or who are not taking care of me, let's say who stand by me, the dearest of my friends, the beloveds of my family, the extended uh, social system, which is always supporting me. Whenever I'm in that feeling space, that knowing space, I feel very deeply rooted and resilient. It's a space of inclusiveness. But whenever I'm in a space of individual, I'm alone, I will do my own thing. I can lead my own life the way I want and so on and so forth. It's a very individualistic attitude. This cuts me from this support system. This is the way of the mind, the way of the ego, which has science cuts things down to pieces because we're largely operating in the in the from the space of mental intellectual zone we are missing the deeper strength of establishment the soil of our heart where the deep roots of resilience must take take shape huh? so if i say what is the heart what is the seat of inclusiveness in a human being the seat of inclusiveness in a human being is the heart space, which is a space of love, compassion, uh, you know, agreement and taking everybody together and so on. What is the seed of disconnection in the, in the human system is the mind. It creates a illusion or an ego to say you are not me, I am not you. And every time I have to only be focused on my own self-interest. Bingo, the problem starts. Look at our, our whole training, you know, since the time we were, we were in school, to college, to competitive exams and so on and so forth, we've just been training the, this center of human existence, the mind. Have we done anything to train the heart? Have we done anything? Have we gone to any, have we created any programs to, to train me on compassion? To train me about, about, you know, feeling this oneness, that is what we are calling spirituality, yeah? That is kind of, I think, we've missed that. As the humanity, as the culture, as the industrial revolution happened, we evolved materialistically. We forgot completely about the heart space. I have some interesting data to share with you on this. But let me first hear what Padmakarji and Ashaji has to say on this. Then I'll share some very interesting data on this, on this mind and heart coherent system. Yeah, please, Asha, would you, would you, just your comments, just your comments about have we really focused too much on the on the on building the mind space rather than the heart space and why we have not focused on the heart training. I made this point a little earlier, but I should do hmm. that it's our education system hmm. dominantly overdoing this whole left brain business, hmm. which is why uh, we are pretty stunted on the emotional part and that is where uh, just as you train your uh, mind, you also need to train your uh, art system. Mm. Just as you need uh, train your thoughts, yeah, that's the way you also need to train your emotions. And one domain of work which has come up in the last 20 years is called emotional intelligence, where it is talking about trying to integrate the emotional with the thought part of it, except that um, 
it does not touch upon the spirituality which mm -hmm. at the center of uh, being uh, emotionally intelligent and maybe that is where we need to do more work thank you excellent absolutely absolutely asha but margaret would you want to share some of your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think uh, when I was thinking through, I was sure that uh, we are not letting go of the heart center in any which way, but we seem to be using it only from a uh, I point of view in terms of an egocentricity point of view, uh, which is about instant gratification for self. Uh, and so therefore there is a, as science is advanced, it seems to have put forward many materialistic comforts and some things which are desirable. Uh, so therefore, we have never been happy and then we have been adding on one gizmo after the other, which seems to be making us happy in a certain way. But at an eye point of view, at an egotistic point of view, and not at the inclusive level of others. And, and I think the second thing which has happened to us socially is, uh, as we are aping the Western culture in terms of their own individuality, uh, whereas as an Asian country, we always believed in community living and everything was community-based, joint family systems, as we moved away and adopted more of the our, our wrong understanding of the Western psyche or thing is that I need to be individualistic. Everything is about me and there is no space for others. Mm. So the heart center seems to be full, fully filled with the I part of me and with instant gratifications. Somewhere we have ex excluded the spaces for many others whom I can certainly include. And I think it is wrong for me to love the general humanity. Not many seem to be doing that. Um, so it seems to be this is a culture which is prevalent and then which is also encouraged and nurtured. And even in the workspaces too, it is all about the rat race. And therefore, if I share something with my co-worker, will I be beaten down and will this other person get the coveted progression, whatever it is, or a bonus? So we seem to be creating all these things all the time. So while I understand uh, that the deeply worked for and earned things could belong to me, the power of sharing, the power of uh, love, the power of affection, a whole lot of these seem to be reserved for the self space, not so much for many others. And probably I make space if I'm married yeah, maybe I'll make space for my wife and children to that point. Mm. But it doesn't seem to include many others too. I think this also is where the problem lies in terms of, you know, shutting the doors for many other opportunities coming your way where love is willing to come inside and you're shutting the doors. And you also shut the door in terms of not taking many of the offerings you can give to others. But this is how mm. I read it. Amazing. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Fudma. Thank you. Okay. Few quick things on this before we move ahead is that, you know, in the, in the Eastern system, in the Indian system, we said everything is nada. Nada is sound. Everything emerged from the sound. And we said everything is about frequency and vibration here. Yeah. So heart and head also have a frequency. The, some of the, some of the, Attributes of the mind are, let's say, the sense of fear, the sense of anxiety, the sense of grief, the sense of uncertainty, the sense of jealousy. These are, we call, these are the attributes of the mind origin. And these are the attributes which have very low frequency, even to the extent that it can make our body-mind deceased. The heart's attitude are inclusiveness love, compassion, feeling for each other, empathy, and so on. And the frequency of these attributes is very high to the extent that it can also heal us, these attributes. Yeah. Recently, I came across a report. Uh, there's a phenomenal amount of research is happening um, somewhere in California about this frequency thing. And they figured out, so they, you know, so we are a bioelectric field. The whole system is a bioelectric field. 
So they measured the electric field of the mind and the electric field of the heart and the results were astonishing. The electric field of the heart is about 60 to 100 times much more powerful than the electric field of the mind. It's a power center. Another thing, they then also measured the magnetic component of it. You know, we are also magnetic beings. They measured the magnetic field of the mind versus magnetic field of the heart and the results were amazing, unbelievable. Because the magnetic field of the heart is about 5000 times more stronger than the magnetic field of the mind. This is what they came up with in that research. Which surely means we have an extremely powerful center of our existence which we are probably either missing or as Padmakarji said that we are only using in the eye context. And eye context is the mental context. Right? So there is something to really investigate, think about it. You know, I am also reminded by, reminded of, you know, let's say Rumi and I read a very beautiful quote of Rumi where he says, There is a candle in your heart ready to be kindled. There is a void in your soul ready to be filled. Do you feel it? Don't you? He said there is a candle in your heart. Similarly, if you read any of the stories of let's say Krishna's and Gopi's and all of that, they always said that, you know, you stole our heart. They never said you stole our mind. There is a significance when, you know, realized being in their, in their walk, in their speech, use the heart. Rumi does not say that there is a candle in your mind waiting to be kindled. He is saying there is a candle in your heart waiting to be kindled. These are, they're trying to give us some pointers, that's all I'm saying, yeah? And similarly, if, let's say, somebody says, if, I, if somebody says to me, who are you? I'll say, I am Anish, right? The hand goes towards the heart, somewhere here. The hand does not go here. Nature is trying to give us a signal that there's a powerful center, your hand automatically goes there. We do namaskar like this and not like this. The hand automatically goes there. There's something happening here, we need to... We need to be mindful of this, you know, what's, how, why it goes here and not here, yeah? Just a, I thought just a point I will share. Mm -hmm.